I'm Sinead Fenton from Orside Farm, which is a four and a half acre patch of land based in East Sussex that I run with my other half, Adam. And we grow flowers and vegetables and we've just moved here recently. So what I'm gonna do is show you how we turn a patch of land that looks like this into something that is slowly becoming more diverse. And one of the things we've been really surprised about is how quickly things have changed and how fast wildlife has found its way back to this patch of land, to the flowers that we've sown, to the small new trees that we've planted and to the ponds that we've created. So I'm gonna show you around and show you what we've done. So there's three things that we really focus on here and that is more flowers because that's what wildlife and insects eat, more trees because those provide habitats, more food for wildlife and are great for soil structure and improving the resilience of our land here and to improve the soil. And we need to give as much attention to the underground life as we do the above ground life. A lot of what we do here is inspired by nature. So at the end of the season, we let a lot of our plants die down in situ. So these are some corn flowers, which are just going to be left in place and they'll slowly die down and become one with the soil again. And this is a way of returning nutrients back to the soil. And it also saves us a job of having to sow more corn flour next year. And a great thing with that is that this plants here will have been used to the climate here. So the next generation will be even stronger. One of the things that we've done is dig loads of little ponds all across the site and these are becoming home to lots of little critters and how they've managed to find these is completely amazing. Um, and one of the things that we found here is toads and we've seen them in the night going out into the beds here and bunching on slugs. So they're doing our pest control for us. So this is all about creating habitats for a range of different wildlife to come in to help create balance within our gardens, within our farms and within the spaces that we're growing crops. And all these small acts come together to be something really powerful. And that is exactly what agroecology is. It's about looking out into nature, into the wild, and observing, seeing what happens, and then incorporating that into the things that we grow and the way that we manage our land. And the beauty of that is what we get is beautiful crops that are thriving, that nourish us, but also nourish wildlife too. And that's the most beautiful thing about agroecology.